Hey folks, Machinery P here. You know, I've been covering the used farm machinery market now a little over 26 years, and I've met some interesting people around the country who are doing some interesting things, but boy, I think I got someone right to the top of the list here. Uh, Shane Croc from Greenfield, Indiana. Got to know Shane uh, through Facebook and saw these pictures of these custom painted mailboxes that he was doing. You're looking at here one of his recent ones, an International 1206. Just unbelievable detail. Um, you can see a couple more pictures here. Here's a custom one Shane did of a 1066 for a, for a family. Uh, and here's a 560. And look at that front of that mailbox, that grill, that detail works just unbelievable. Um, again, uh, Shane Croc from Greenfield, Indiana. And I actually met Shane at an auction I covered recently, recently in Indiana and wanted to talk to him about these mailboxes, how he got started, what gave him the idea, and how he makes these unbelievable creations. So let's go to that video right now. Hey folks, Machinery Pete here. I'm back in Indiana and I found a very interesting story. This is Shane Croc from Greenfield, right? Yes. Greenfield, Indiana. Now Shane, uh, you sent me some pictures some time ago about the coolest thing I've ever seen. Some custom mailboxes that you painted with classic tractors. And we'll, we'll show folks some of the pictures here. But uh, first off, just hats off for an amazing job that you do. Thank you. What, what gave you the idea to uh, do these custom mailboxes? Oh, we needed a new mailbox, and okay. we were, me and my other half were in uh, Home Depot shopping one day, and yeah. I just decided we were going to pick up another mailbox, okay. and I grabbed it, and it just struck me that I was going to paint one up to look like a tractor, okay. and uh, so I masked it off, and I painted it up, and okay. I just kept going and going with it, and uh, my first one that I did was, uh, it was a 1468, okay. and I did that. And that's always been your favorite tractor? Yes, it's my favorite tractor. Okay. And um, so I completed it and put it online and I just didn't think anything of it and it just kept getting shared and shared and shared and the next thing I know it had kind of went viral and people were asking me if I would make no, one. It didn't kind of go viral, Jane. It went totally viral. That, well, uh, it, visually it was stunning, the work you did. And you know, my original one, I didn't even put any 3D detail or anything like that in it. It's okay. not uh, it's basically a basic one because I use it as a road box. Sure. And so people asked me if I would, you know, make them one. And right. I kind of blew it off because I was like, nobody would pay what I would have to, you know, right. the time. Have, have for this. Right. And um, so I thought about it and thought about it. And then people kept asking me and kept asking me about it. And then I finally decided, you know, what the heck, I'll make one for somebody. So how many have you made for other people now? Oh, I've probably done around 50 or so. And you've got requests, you do all colors, John Deere, you've done Oliver, I think? I have done pretty much all colors. I have an Oliver to do, I haven't okay. done it yet. Okay. I'm working on a Ford right now, Ford okay. 8000. And you've, done, you've got into some 3D, some more depth and even finer detail lately, haven't you? Yes, and that um, come from my buddy, uh, Jamie Matthews, who okay. owns a uh, custom paint shop, and he paints a lot of the race car drivers' helmets and things like okay. that. He's a phenomenal painter. And he's the one who has, you he's know, He's worked showed, with NASCAR, you said, hasn't yes, he? Yes, he worked with NASCAR, IndyCar. He's the one that paints their helmets, and he actually wow. paints some of the cars and does a lot of custom bike work. He's, really? he's a phenomenal artist. Okay. And uh, where's Jamie out of? He lives he lives in McCordsville, but his shop is um, in the Mount Comfort area, okay. which is oh 20 miles, well 10 miles west of here. Okay. Not west of here, but where I live. So. Well, Shane, now with with even the finer detail that you put on these on these mailboxes that you do, what would be like uh, an average amount of time that you have to spend on this thing? It kind of varies. Ones that I've done, you know, more of, you know, it's just like anything. The more you do it, the quicker you get at it. Right. I can do, I can do like a, you know, 86 series or a 66 series international or something like that. Okay. And, you know, if I had, if I can sit down and do that, nothing only for a day, I can, right. I can do one of those in a day. Okay. Um, some of the other ones that uh, I haven't done as many of and require a lot more detail and stuff like that uh, 
you know, I'll get two or three days wrapped up well, in them. I, I, just from visiting with you, Shane, a couple times, I know you're very detail oriented, so you're not just gonna crank one out quick. You're gonna make sure you do it just perfect. Yes, as close as I can. Right. Um, you know, obviously it's a mailbox, so you can't make it exact, but I right. try to make it look the best well, Shane, I can, given now, what I have to work with. Now, here's what I, what I wanted to ask you. What kind of response do you get when people call and order one and you deliver it, uh, what kind of uh, things are they saying back to you after you uh, after they uh, after they get it? Well, I've got have a lot of happy people. Um, a lot of them are, you know, have been ordered for special stuff, such as, you know, it was somebody's favorite tractor or, you know, I've had requests to do some that, uh, for like families that have lost a loved one and that was their favorite tractor oh, or wow. things like that. Uh, I know the last one, one of the last ones I did was a pulling tractor okay. and it was in dedication to a family who had lost their daughter. Wow. And I guess whenever they had opened it up, I was told that there wasn't a dry eye in the room. So I, I did think, pretty good. Those definitely are the ones that, yeah. those are the ones that make you feel good or the ones that really have meaning behind them. Well, the, 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 your, your artistry and attention to detail just shines in these things, Shane. And totally, when you sent me that picture, I was like, this is something new and different and just awesome. So hats off to what you're doing. Well, thank you. And like I said, some of the some of the some of the ones that have the super super in depth stuff, like for instance, the one that was a pulling the pulling tractor dedication. Yep. I definitely couldn't have not have done that one without my buddy because he uh, he did the he did some of the work on that and helped me. Because like I said, I'm I'd never done anything like that before. I'd never touched an airbrush in my life until my buddy had showed me how to do it. And like I said, without you know his expertise and all that, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be doing them anyway, so. Well, your creations are bringing smiles everywhere you go, Shane, and uh, I imagine you're gonna get nothing but more requests. Well, so. I hope. Like I said, it's definitely been overwhelming. I've had to, I've had to cut people off because that's not the only thing that I do. Right, so, right. I mean, I've told people that I wasn't gonna do any more until I had, you know, got caught back up. You're and caught then, back up now in orders, kind of? Um, I'm getting close. I, I had a lot of, Christmas promises that I made right. and I cut those off you know well in advance of Christmas and I wound up delivering my last Christmas promise at about 3 or 4 p.m. on Christmas Eve actually. Nice so, delivery from Santa perfect. And then I took some time off just because I was in all, in all honesty I was, I was getting a little burnt out on them sure. and um, I've started doing them again so whenever I get caught back up with the ones that I've already promised people then I'll probably start taking requests again and well, doing, Shane, them, you, doing them as I can. You keep sending me pictures of your creations. They uh, they always make me smile when I see them. They're just fabulous. Uh, again, folks, Shane Crock from Greenfield, Indiana. Thank you.